to you for today's video with a full Splatoon Pokemon team. So there's like this Splatoon Pokemon Splatfest like coming up in November. I don't know a lot about Splatoon, but I thought I'd do a little Pokemon team uh, for this moment. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So what I did, I don't know a ton about this. So I just put the Pokemon I thought looked similar to them and maybe had a couple of like moves that look similar to the actual Splatoon game. I really hope you enjoy this. We're doing a little bit of a different thing today with the non-Pokemon theme. If you like these sort of things, let me know in the comment section. I do them here in there um if you, if you really really like it let me know drop a like on the video and let's get into it i've got two battles with the splatoon team now um i'm not sure if this is based on splatoon or splatoon 3 or all the splatoon games so i know splatoon 3 uh is like really really uh a, a big game uh for sure now we got an arcanine lead here i've got uh graplock as octoling so i of course i gave it octazooka and octolock I've also got Protect and Focus Blast. I've got the Ability Limba. Item is going to be Leftovers and EV Spreaders. Max Health and Max Special Attack. So I went for a Special Attacking set. And uh, yeah, I, I thought that Octazooka and Octolot would be very, very nice uh, on, these, uh, you know, on this team especially, right? Now, today will be a double upload day too. So later on, there will be another video. Um, and then we've got... I, I think we might even have double uploads the next couple of days. Just finishing off uh, some teams that I want to do for Sword and Shield. Um, I'll have more information what's going to be going on there. I will be doing a final Sword and Shield uh, battle stream. Uh, Dynamax Adventures, all those sort of things uh, throughout, uh, you know, I, I, got, I guess a three-year period for Sword and Shield. So that'll be happening this weekend coming. Coming. So that is a stream you don't want to miss. Next Pokemon is going to be Arcanine. It's another one, and it's a burn up Arcanine. And that is going to be doing a fair bit of damage to my uh, a great lot there. About half itself, which is pretty nice. Now, I'm going to go for Octazooka. Since it was a pure uh, fire type, um, it's actually going to be typeless now. So my Octazooka is uh, it's not super effective anymore. I was actually quite lucky with Octazooka in all the battles I did with it. I actually got a lot of actually drops. So this is a, um, this is a facade. Arcanine with uh, Flame Orb now that it's not a fire type, the Flame Orb will affect it. I'm going to go for the uh, Focus Miss. It does pretty good damage uh, to the Arcanine, so I was pretty happy with that. Now, this time, I'm sort of on my last legs here, or my last couple of legs, and uh, Arcanine is going to be able to faint me this turn. However, instead of attacking me, it's going to go for a Morning Scum. So that's going to heal off the uh, Arcanine itself. It's like, okay, I hope I don't miss here, or you know, hope I get some decent damage. Let's go for the Octazooka again. So I did very minimal damage, and I got another actually drop. So that was pretty good. Now, that has a 50% chance to drop the uh, actually as well. Now, I did try and put some Splatoon-style music in the background too. I noticed with a lot of the Splatoon music, there was a lot of like these... It wasn't really like singing. It was like these... I don't know. It's like... Sort of not. I think it was like the little squid singing. So I tried to find ones that had some of that. It was, it was sort of difficult. Like there wasn't like hardly any like real sort of upbeat songs without the uh, little squid singing in there. So if you hear them, that's just the squid singing in the background. Now the next Pokemon is going to be uh, Arcanine. And it's, it's called Hot Bite. It's going to go for a Fire Fang. Ah, oh, that's why it's called Hot Bite. Ah, oh, how, how did I not guess that one? So that's going to be the end of the um, the Grab Lolly. The Reflector's gone too. And I'm going to go into uh, Octillery here. So Octillery as uh, DJ Octavio. We've got Subtube Protect Octazooka. I gave it again. And uh, Flame Tra. I've got the uh, Ability Moody. And I got the item Staff Berry. So Max Special Attack and Max Speed Modest Nature. Uh, that was what I was running with the set. So I could go for like Protect, get the Moody to activate, and try and boost this thing up a lot. I thought it'd be pretty cool with like Moody and Staff Berry too, so you get like some uh, big boost maybe in one stat, if you're lucky. So uh, unfortunately, I got a cut, like a special attack drop there, and I actually got a, uh, a miss, which was really nice. But this Arcanine was like a like a, a gross attract set there, and I managed to get around it, which was good. You know, I, I could have been sitting there getting wrecked for like another like ten turns or something. So that's half the Arcanines down, which is very very good there. Now I do have a couple more six Pokemon teams planned for the end of Sword and Shield. Matter of fact, I've got two more. Next Pokemon's gonna be Hot Dog. Man, I could go for a Hot Dog right now. Um, really, really could. You know, got that sausage, got that bun. 
you know, some onions, got some tomato sauce in there. Man, I, I could go for a big one of them right now. Speaking of which, we got a big hot dog here. Like, this hot dog would be enough to feed you for, like, uh, possibly, ma ma maybe a year. So now the Arcanine's going to go for a Max Lightning. That's going to be super effective on the Octillery, and it's going to be taking it out in one shot, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. I actually quite enjoy doing these non-Pokemon teams. I haven't done a lot of... I really... I'll be honest, I haven't done a lot of them lately um, or for a while because I just do them here and there, but I know a lot of poke like uh, like a Pokemon uh, you know, actually can suit him with the other topics, but uh, maybe if we get like a huge big demand to, you know, for them to be back, I could always do one of them weekly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Berserker. I thought this was a Jard. It looked pretty similar to it. And of course, the shiny one too with the, with the coloring, but I, I guess the normal one could have worked too. I thought it looked a little more like brown, like in the pictures that I've seen. But um, once again, I am not a Splatoon person. I'm just sort of like looking at the characters. And uh, let me know if I did. Did I do a good job? Let me know in the comment section after you've seen the, uh, you know, the six Pokemon that I choose. And maybe give some suggestions too. Like, um, or just like other ones I could have added. I know obviously there's going to be more than six Pokemon I could have done. So we got a, a very, a very, very special battle coming up on the second one too. So make sure you stick around there. If you're a real Splatoon fan, you're really, really going to like it. So we're going to go for a, a Max Lightning here on the Arcanine. It virtually does no damage there. Berserker is a special set. I've got Choice Specs, Steely Spirit as the ability, Steel Beam, Thunder, Shadow Ball, and Hyper Beam. Uh, max Health and Max Special Attack. I've run this Berserker set a little bit. And uh, it's pretty cool, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm really starting to uh, really really starting to look forward to Scarlet and Violet. We're only oh, well, I guess we're only days away now, really, to use all those new Pokemon, play through the story, check out all the new mechanics and stuff. I'm really really starting to look forward to it. So that's going to be the end of the Arcanine's uh, Dynamax here. Now I can oh, there was like a trailer too last night, official trailer, no like leaks or anything like that. It was like uh, Ed Sheeran singing for most of which. I don't know, I wasn't really a fan of that, but, uh, you know, each to their own, I, I guess. And then we seen uh, some cool stuff of, like, uh, Don Fan. That was cool. So, And, yes, I'll do a Don Fan. I'm not really sure if it's clear that they're evolutions yet or they're just other forms. Um, at this point in time, nothing official has come out, whether they're an evolution or a form. It wasn't really clear to me, but uh, maybe by the time I release this video, that could be out there. I don't really know, but yes, I'll do a Don Fan Forms team if they're all in the game, and I could even throw Fampy in there as well. But uh, I, I thought it was really cool. Like out of all the the Pokemon to choose, they chose Don Fans. So I was like, that's that's a cool Pokemon. You don't see it very much. So now we got the Arcanine go for an extreme speed on Captain Cuttlefish, who I've got as Drampa. I've got this physical facade set, and it hits pretty well. It's pretty hard. And I've got the item Toxic Orb, as you got C, Sap Sipper, Facade Protect, Drag Rep, and Stopping Tantrum. Max Health and Max Stack. This team was actually kind of bulky. Like, I ran bulk on a lot of the Pokemon. Now, I'm going to fake there to the uh, to the Toxic 2. Next Pokemon. Oh, it's going to be Arcanine. It's Sleepy Dog. Mm, maybe this is like a uh, rest and sleep talk set, you know? We're going to go into Malamar now. I couldn't really decide between Malamar and Inkay for Inkling. I Inke... Inkling and Inkay, of course, that would work too, but I don't know, like, it, Malamar sort of look, it sort of like got, got the looks more than Inkay, you know, I, I don't know, like, it sort of mixed up, I feel like both could have worked, Let, let's, let's be real. So Arcanine's going to go for a Toxic on my Malamar here, this was a special attacking Malamar, it had Trick Room, uh, we had Dank Pulse, Nasty Plot, and Future Side, uh, Room Service as the item, Infiltrator as the ability, and also Max Alpha, Max Special Attack, Quiet Nature. Uh, now what I can do is I can go for a nasty plot here, boost my special attack, and try and uh, you know get some powerful uh, you know dark pulse off, or even a future sight. So I can it's going to be a toxic and deep set. Uh, only on Pivot Channel there, folks, and I'm going to get that special attack rise. And uh, oh, it's quite funny when I was uh, when I was constructing this team, right? I was like, oh, I've got a Malamar already, you know. I'll, I'll I'll just put that on my team, and it was a contrary run. Imagine if I brought that <laughs> accidentally and gave it nasty plot. <laughs> then it lowered it instead. I'd have been very salty. Now that's not the first time I've done that before. Like you know, I've had other Pokemon. So, as you know, if you don't know, I like to reuse a lot of my Pokemon for different uh, you know, theme teams and stuff like that. You know, simply change the moves and uh, you know natures. So we're going to go for a future side there. I got a good damage on that Arcanine, and I can simply go for another attacking move here. So I mean, Malamar's special attack isn't the greatest in the world, and uh, you know. 
after maybe two nasty plots, yeah, it's going to be hitting really, really hard then. But after two, a lot of stuff can still live that. So we're going to go for a dang pulse here. That is going to be enough to finish off the Arcanine, which is going to be very, very good. Now, there's only one more left. I've got one other Pokemon, too, on my Splatoon team. Matter of fact, I, this was pro the, the last Pokemon was probably my favorite, I've got to say. Last Pokemon is the uh, Shiny Arcanine. Of course, that had to be a Shiny. And it's called Woof Woof. Hmm, does it have a uh, raw? And that's going to go for Extreme Speed on my Malamar. And that is going to be enough to finish it off, which is uh, very sad. I could have gone for another tag. Last Pokemon is Great Zapfish. And get this right, I gave it Spark. I thought that was really, really cool. It's a Great Zapfish. Looks very, very similar and has Spark. So I've got Spark, Dragonance, Earthquake, and Liquidation. This is a physical Dragonance set. And, uh, you know, with uh, Spark, I really had to uh, you know, uh, spark this up and make it a physical set. So, after a Dragon Ants, Whizcash still is not really exactly what you call a force to be reckoned with. You probably need a couple of Dragon Ants for it to do much damage. So, we've got a, uh, we've got a how, yeah, a how. I, was, I said raw, I should have said how. So, it's going to be a how Arcanine that's going to boost its uh, uh, special attack and uh, attack because it's got the straight spray. So, I was like, oh, okay, I, I don't want to sort of set this is. I, I got to go for the Earthquake here. It's going to go for the Extreme Speed on Whiskash. Whiskash has a fair bit of bulk to it. And now I can go for the Earthquake on the Arcanine. And that is going to be enough to take it out in one shot. And that, my friends, is the end of the first uh, Splatoon Pokemon battle. It's a Splatoon uh, Pokemon team versus all the Arcanines. I wonder if there's like an Arcanine like Splatoon Pokemon. I'm not sure. Let's get into battle number two. Uh, we got a battle against Skylar here. And this is a really, really cool battle. I did tell you to... Uh, Stick around. We've got a Splatoon versus Splatoon team. So this is uh, pretty interesting to see what, uh, I guess, Splatoon characters were picked on the opposite uh, side of the field too. So uh, we got Meowth and Berserker. So I was like, okay, that's, that's fair. Yeah, that, that works for both. Wait, is that a shiny Meowth? I think it's a shiny Meowth too because it's a little bit more darker color. Now, the uh, first Meowth is going to go for Rain Ants here. I'm actually not 100% sure if these moves are maybe based on the game too. They could be. I, I tried to base a few off that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Steel Beam Steely Spirit with Choice Specs. And you know it is a mouth, so it's probably going to get one shot. And however, the mouth is going to be having a focus sash. It's going to be hard to live there. Now, if I go for uh, if I go for that attack again, I'm going to faint, and I'm only going to do one damage. So that's going to be kind of a waste here because I am choice mix. So it's probably going to be best to swap out the berserker and go to another Pokemon. Now, out comes the uh, Mantine for Big Man. I, I, that's a good one as well. Like, see, there was a lot I could have done. You know, like. Uh, I guess there's, I, I could probably think of like maybe three or four teams. So I'm going to go into Octillery here, but really what I want to do is go back into my Berserker. And when you look at my Octillery, it's only got Octazooka and Flamethrower. So what's that going to do? Absolutely nothing. So I went back into Berserker as soon as I got the Choice Specs Thunder from Down Under. And it's raining too, so that means I'm never going to miss. So I was curious what this Mantine set would even be. So Mantine's going to go for a Twister, another Twister Mantine. Um, I, th I think we seen one of them last week. So I'm going to go for Thunder. It's like, okay, this is cool. As long as it does have a really powerful water type move. And it did. It, it had Brian. And Brian got double base power there. That was like 130 base power because I was at like half health. Uh, and it was raining too, so there's no way I was living that. Matter of fact, I think that would have one shot on me if that was max special attack. So going to Great Zapfish, I was like, this is going to be good. Uh, now the Mantine's going to go for a twist here. I know that I'm going to be able to live... Um I know that I'm going to be able to leave like Brian easy. And it's going to have a Waycan Berry. So Waycan Berry is going to power down super effective electric type moves. So Mantine takes that a lot better. However, lucky for me, uh, I've got it actually a little chance there. 30% chance uh, of the Paralyze on Spark. So I could go for Spark again. And this will be enough to take out the Mantine, which is really cool. So that was, you know, that was like the one time it's sort of handy having Spark on uh, Whizcash. It's actually quite a good surprise move having electric type move there. Next Pokemon's going to be. Uh, Malamar. So, oh, this one's Fry. Oh, oh, yeah. I guess you could have used that as well. So that's uh, that's interesting. So it's, it's kind of cool seeing both these teams. So I'm thinking here, well, I can go for a Dragonette. I believe I'm going to be able to live this attack, and it's going to be a foul play. So that was good that I didn't have a Dragonette up there already, because you know that would have done like a lot of like, way more damage because of uh, you know foul play and. Um, how it works with the stats. So now I've got my attack and speed. I was like, well, let's go for Earthquake. That's my most powerful attack there. 
I feel like Malamar might leave this and it lived it really well. So it's definitely a bulky Malamar. Now Malamar's going to go for a topsy-turvy and that's going to get rid of my uh, Dragon Ads. They're all going to be reversed. So now I've got negative one in speed and negative one in attack. You wouldn't read about it. Now the Malamar's going to swap out and in comes Goodbye, boy, and Shiva. Shiva me timbers. So I'm going to go for Spark. Obviously, that's not going to do anything. I don't... I don't think they predicted a spark at all. That was just like a nice, you know, lucky sort of uh, like swap in there. So I'm going to swap out my Whiskatch and go into uh, Artillery. Here comes Earthquake for a goodbye. And yeah, this does a lot of damage, like just a, like a bit over half. So I'm like, okay, Moody, give me a, so like a speed rise. That'd be cool. I got a special defense rise and I got a speed drop. I'm like, man, that really, really sucks. It's I could have gone for Protect there, but I would have I would have gone for Protect if I got a Speed Boost there, but I didn't. So that's going to be the end of our DJ Octavio. It didn't even last one round. So next Pokemon I'm going to bring is going to be my Malamar. And uh, it's cool that we both got the shiny one. So I'm going to set up a Trick Room here because this thing's like really fast. And I'm looking at my team and I'm like, not one of these Pokemon is fast outside of Whizcash, which... You know, he, he, he needs a Dragon Dance to like even outspeed anything. So I'm going to get this Trick Room flowing, right? So Earthquake does a lot of damage. That Malamar was max health. And I've got the Trick Room. I'm like, okay, good. Now with the uh, Room Service, that allows me to pretty much I'll be able to outspeed everything now. You know, outside of like, um, I don't know, like priority moves. That's about it. So now I could go for, I could either go for Nasty Plot or Future Size. Like, look, I could go for Dark Pulse and try and get a flinch. But what if it doesn't flinch? I don't even know if this is like an Everlight set. Or what even like item it is. So go for Nasty Plus. Like, I might as well make use of this. Let's go ahead and go for that. Then I can go for uh, Dark Pulse and try and get a flinch. Uh, Goliath's obviously going to go for a uh, Earthquake here again. Earthquake's doing good damage. So it's a, yeah, it's a three hit KO on my Malamar. So now I can go for uh, Dark Pulse. I'm really, really hoping for a flinch here because uh, it should be able to take out. If it's bulky and Everlighter, it's probably not. And yeah, I, I definitely think that was Everlighter. So, uh, Gabite is going to be able to live that and take out my Malamar, sadly. So, I've got, uh, I've got a couple more Pokemon left, but so far, I've only taken out, uh, Mantine. I mean, Meowth is on one health, I guess, so it's, it's almost made it. Next Pokemon is going to be, uh, Drampa. And, uh, Drampa can faint this. I was like, should I just get the, uh, should I go for Protect and get the Toxel up first? I was like, nah, this should be enough to take me out. I can go for Sad. I didn't want to risk going for Dragon Rush because that miss, I, you know, I don't want to take unnecessary, like, damage because... I don't know whether this is choice either. If it, if it was choice, I had no worries from uh, Earthquake. But uh, just in case it wasn't, I didn't want to take, like, I don't know, like a Dragon Claw or something like that. So that's going to be the end of the Gabite. And uh, now I've got my Toxorb, so I can freely go for the Facade. And it should do some pretty good damage. So we got Captain Cuttlefish versus... Captain Cuttlefish, so it's Craig Cuttlefish. Okay, I see. I couldn't I couldn't fit in Captain, so I just put like, uh, I think you have to put like CPT for Captain, but I couldn't fit that in there. So uh, we got Relicats and another good one. That, that's it. That's probably another choice I would have picked too. So unfortunately, my attacking move misses, but it wasn't all that bad because if you think about it right, I can now go for Stomping Tangent, which is going to be a double base power on Relicats. Now, Relicats is going to be a special set here with the Meteor Beam. I can go for that stop attention. Relic Hab does have pretty good base defense. I was like, I wonder what EV spread this is going to be. Like, is it going to be speedy? Is it? I don't think it is going to be because I went first. So now the, uh, um, it went first there um, after the Trick Room. So I was like, okay, I can go for the stop attention now. Hopefully I can leave this attack. So it's going to go for Earth Power on my Dramper. Dramper lives on two health. That was an amazing live there. And now I can go for stop attention. It's a good thing that I did go for that because... Relicanth is, uh, yeah, it takes it very, very well. That was, like, my most powerful attack. So that's going to be the end of the Drampa. And uh, I can hopefully finish off this Relicanth right now. So this is a special grab block, as you already know. But I was like, maybe I should try and disguise it as a physical one. Because uh, I haven't used it uh, at all. Like, I haven't even used any attack it with. So I could go for Dynamax, grab block, and go for Max Knuckle. And maybe, you know, may maybe... It'll be thought as a physical set instead, but in actuality, it's going to be a, uh, a special set, which will be a pretty uh, nice little surprise there. It's always has Max Guys as well, but I don't want to use Max Guys just yet either. So we're going to go for Dynamax Grab Block, just in case, you know, Relic Amp does outspeed me, which I have a feeling that it's going to. And now here, it's going to be coming the Surf. So I'm like, okay, that, that was definitely a good thing. I went for uh, Dynamax. That would have done, like, you know, heaps of damage. So go for the Max Knuckle coming off the Focus Miss, and that's enough to take out the Relicants. Relicants special defense isn't the greatest in the world. Yet. So getting an attack rise, which is you know, not going to mean anything. It's more of a facade, I guess. 
Uh, we're going to have some leftovers recovery here as well, which is, you know, always nice to get some extra health back. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be the uh, Malamar from before. So, I wonder what, you know, Malamar is going to do, right? Um, it's going to go for a Rain Dance. So, like, okay. Rain Dance. Now, there is one other Pokemon left, and I know what that Pokemon is going to be. I had a little sneaking suspicion it might be that, and that sort of confirmed it. But you get to see that and see. So, go for the Max Knuckle again, and that was enough to take out Malamar. Nice. That's really, really good. So, that's Malamar down there. All that's left is the Meowth on one health and one other Pokemon. I guess some of those other Pokemon only had, like, bits of health left, too. So, they, they had quite a lot of Pokemon left, but uh, not on the, the greatest amount of health. Uh, so, next Pokemon's going to be Meowth, of course. That's a good Pokemon throw in there. That'll use up my last turn of Dynamax. Meowth's going to have Water Pulse. Like, oh, don't you get confused. And I didn't get confused. Good. And I'm going to finish off with the uh, Max guys. I may as well show that I've got a Water type move. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. So, that's the end of uh, Meowth. So, we've got one more Pokemon left here. And I've got two left, actually. I've got my Whiskash still left, which is pretty good. But uh, I think Whiskash is, you know, going to get wrecked because it doesn't have too much help. Next Pokemon is going to be Sheldon, and that is Kabuto. I was actually going to put this on my team. I was. But I didn't do it. It was like my uh, seventh pick. So I was like, this has to be a Swiss Wing Kabuto. Uh, but, you know, what sort of sets are going to be? So I swapped out the Grap Lock. I thought, this is probably going to be a bit more bulkier than my Whiskash. So let's see what's going to happen here. So I went out of Grap Lock. I also have, um, on my Grap Lock, I've got Protect as well. So I thought I might be able to use Protect. Uh, use Protection, you know. And then use an attacking move afterwards. And I might be able to stall out all three or maybe at least two. So we're going to have Dynamax Kabuto. Plus, uh, Kabuto's special defense, uh, that's going to get hit really, really hard by Focus Mist, too. So, hopefully, I can, uh, you know, let that one fly. So, here comes the Max Guys up from the Kabuto. I have no idea what sort of set this is going to be. It could be physical, it could be special. I have a feeling that it's going to be physical, though. So, that's the end of the Whiskash. Uh, just judging on some of the sets that have been used there. So, next Pokemon's going to be my Octoling. It's like, okay, I I'd rather take this attack with more health than less. Let's go for Focus Blast this turn. Uh, that was enough to actually take out Grap Lock on one shot. And that's the end of the battle. I believe that was definitely a physical set. And I hope you enjoyed this Splatoon versus Splatoon Pokemon team. I'll see you tomorrow, later on, for another upload. Peace out, people.